when looking for a password manager, there's a lot of options, and at a certain point, it becomes hard to really tell the difference. That's why I wanted to talk about Dashlane today because they freshen things up a bit, and in our video, I'll talk about what I liked, ranging from their VPN, deep web tools, and neat interface, as well as some of the things that I think they could improve on. However, before we get into all that, if you want to try out Dashlane at any point, you can use the link in the description to get the best deals available, so feel free to explore that if you're interested. Now, first and foremost, Dashlane is super serious about keeping your stuff safe. They use really strong encryption to make sure that even if someone sneaky tries to get into your account, they won't be able to see anything because it's all scrambled up. Plus, Dashlane doesn't even know your main password or the keys to unlock your data, so it's like a double layer of protection. You can also add another layer of security with things like fingerprint or face recognition on your phone, of course, which is really cool. They're always checking to make sure your passwords haven't been leaked online, and if they find anything fishy, they'll let you know right away. And if you need to share your passwords with friends or family, they've got a way to do it that's super secure too. Overall, Dashlane definitely keeps your stuff safe. Moreover, when it comes to pricing, you'll be looking at around $5 to $8, which is a bit more expensive than some other providers when you take it at face value. However, you do get a 30-day free trial, and when you see what's included in the plans, you'll find that it's actually a bargain. For starters, Dashlane goes the extra mile to keep your stuff safe, because with its secure sharing feature, you can share stuff with others without feeling uneasy and vulnerable about it. Because every shared item is encrypted before transmission, ensuring only the people you send it to can access it. Plus, Dashlane keeps a close eye on the dark web, where stolen data often ends up for sale if it detects any matches with your credentials or personal info and finds something fishy, like a fake login page or a dodgy email, it'll send you a quick warning to stay safe from scams. Additionally, Dashlane provides special protection when you're using public Wi-Fi, which are incredibly vulnerable to hacking attempts. By encrypting your internet connection in these situations, Dashlane prevents hackers from intercepting and deciphering your data, making sure that your data and info is safe. These features can help you work with other people safely, stay updated about possible security problems, and just use the internet in peace. But there's also this interesting VPN that they include. So the VPN allows you to connect to servers located in various countries around the world, which helps protect your online privacy by masking your IP address. This added layer of security is particularly useful for things like banking, I use it myself, where you want to ensure your info remains secure from any potential threats. But now let's talk about the other things that you have access to and can use and isn't just, you know, a given, uh, a component of the actual service. So at its very core, Dashlane lets you make and save as many passwords and passkeys as you need, so you can make unique, strong passwords for every account without worrying about it. Dashlane also keeps your passwords organized neatly, so you can find them when you need them. You can also keep notes of certain things in your secure notes tab where if you have some security answers or codes you want to store, you can just keep them there until you need them. Plus, it has a tool that makes super strong passwords for you with just a click, and it puts your passwords on all your devices so you always have them handy. One way this works is for when you're trying to log into an account. So you can either import this info from wherever your passwords are stored via the import feature or manually input the credentials. Either way, when you visit the site, you have info saved for, you just need to click the Dashlane icon and it'll autofill it for you. Even when you're signing up for something, you can use Dashlane to help you out with personal info that you put in the identity tab, where you can store everything from your name to any website you might have in case you need that info at your disposal. What's more, it'll also help you make a good password, and after all that's done, it'll save your login info for you in your Dashlane vaults. And all of this is actually possible by downloading the web browser extension, which gives you easy access to your password passwords, logins, ID, and etc. I'd highly recommend downloading it just to cut some corners. When you have it all set up, whenever you visit the site you have info saved for, you just need to click the Dashlane icon and then it'll autofill it for you. Moreover, Dashlane's digital wallet allows you to store things like credit card numbers, bank account details, and personal IDs. It's handy for online shopping because you don't have to type in your card details every time. Plus, you can easily access your bank info and personal documents when needed. But if you ever need help with anything, though, Dashlane has you covered with plenty of ways to help you out. If you got questions or need some guidance, you can dive into their help center. It's packed with articles and guides to walk you through everything that you need to know. If you want to talk with a real person, you can shoot them an email. And if you have urgent issues, you can hop on their live chat during certain hours for the quickest response. And there's a cool community forum where you can talk with other real people, ask questions, and share tips. Going back to the plans now, all of these features I mentioned are shared between the personal and family plans. So there's not much of a difference between them apart from the personal plan, including only one user and the family for up to 10. However, 
as for the VPN that I mentioned, only one user out of the 10 can use this, so you should keep this in mind. Now, there are also two cons I just wanted to briefly mention about Dashlane, and those are its integration with web browsers and its user interface. So while Dashlane usually works well with most popular browsers, some people have experienced occasional issues with compatibility or performance, especially with certain browser versions or extensions. Although these problems aren't really widespread, they can be annoying for people who rely on smooth integration for managing passwords across different platforms. Additionally, some people feel that Dashlane's interface is a bit complicated or crowded, especially when they're new to the service. With so many features like password generation and secure note storage, the interface might overwhelm some people who prefer simpler layouts. But still, despite these minor issues, many people still find Dashlane really helpful for taking care of everything they need with their passwords and online accounts. But now let's compare Dashlane with another password manager that I like in NordPass. So both offer distinct approaches to password management, each with its own set of features and user experience. Dashlane stands out with a lot of features and ways to integrate these features into your online activity. On the other hand, NordPass prioritizes simplicity and ease of use, just overall making it a lot more streamlined. While it may lack some of the advanced features of Dashlane, NordPass provides a more user-friendly option for those of you who prefer a straightforward approach to password management. Both prioritize security using strong encryption methods to protect your data. Uh, Dashlane offers more additional security features like identity theft protection, making it more suitable for people with heightened security needs. In contrast, NordPass offers a minimalistic yet effective solution for basic password management. In my opinion though, I would still recommend Dashlane because despite the extra features, it doesn't require a degree to figure out it's not that bad. So so once you get familiar with it, you'll never notice a difference. Plus, the big difference maker is the VPN. NordVPN also has a separate VPN feature that isn't included with their password manager, so it's pretty obvious that you're getting a bargain with Dashlane. Not to mention the way it keeps you updated and helps you with autofill. I personally just like how seamless it is. And on that note, we end today's video. I hope you guys found it informative, and if you still have some questions, don't hesitate to ask down below. I'll get back to you when I can. Don't also forget to use that link in the description to get yourself the best deals available for Dashlane and consider subscribing to keep up to date on our videos and know when we post so you can get future deals on the stuff that we talk about here. Not to mention, like the video if you enjoyed it. As for now, that's all I have in store for you. Thanks for watching as always and until next time, take care.